Right then, this is about more Muppetry from Craig Houston. He has a uh, YouTube, maybe a radio show still, I'm not really sure. But uh, it was on his discussion last week and uh, he basically cut me off from it because I think he's got, let's say, an agenda. We all know about, he's made videos about the Jews, which uh, he's not too specific about that. You know, he doesn't say Zionists, he doesn't separate Zionism from, you know, Judaism, because there's a significant amount of Jews that don't follow Zionism. And even though, obviously, there's people that stay in the land of Israel who are Zionist, most of them are not satanic. You got to understand that they're just sheep. You got to understand that the Illuminati are just using them as pawns um, to get to the one world government, which uh, which is the target, which is actually prophesied in the Bible. But th there's a lot more prophecy in the Bible, obviously, than the Satanists uh, will talk about, because they only have a certain plan in the end times that they follow through their God. Uh, Lucifer or Satan but the parts about the church, the parts about Jesus Christ's second return is not mentioned in their plans you see um, so obviously I'm a, a godless atheist like Craig Houston um, is not going to understand these things um, and either you can just say he's a little bit challenged mentally with uh, sharing the information that he does which uh, is not truthful complete information um, so he's you can see he's got an agenda or he is a little bit as I say mentally challenged uh, with regards to these things I can understand that like I don't hate the guy but he's obviously got a strong hatred towards Jews and Christians and this has came through in much of his videos recently it's just uh, See what he's got to say. Uh, so here are all the, again, uh, mainstream media articles. They are me showing you. So this is Craig Houston, who uh, who hates the, B he claims he hates the BBC. And he's now using mainstream media articles to prove some of his uh, rather dumb points. Uh, a hypocrite, because he's calling a Bible believer a, a dumb bitch, quite openly. So, bold one might say. Here's his little uh, PayPal account down here. A PayPal account. Craig's PayPal account down there. Um, I don't know what his sexuality is, but anyhow. Oh, rather um, I think that's the one she's getting mixed up with. Or was it, uh, nah, I can't remember. There's uh, the BBC report. So he's very specific, as you can see, in his analysis. You can, I mean, it's right in front of him. Rotherham is one of the main towns in the United Kingdom, which I've mentioned for since I found out about it. And it wasn't through Tommy Robinson. It was through someone else who had suffered an attack down in Rotherham, whom I personally spoke to. And I shared that information uh, with his little chat group last week, and he, he cut me off. But what, what you're actually getting is males, females, children. Yes, there has been some um, convictions over the past few decades for these rape cases, but nowhere near uh, long enough in the jail cells. Um, I can say that for certain. Some of them only six months to a year for raping men, women and children, which uh, if you think that's enough, then again, you might either have an agenda or you just might be mentally challenged. But you're getting like uh, Tommy Robinson, who's obviously uh, started the EDL about roughly 10 years ago, and really putting pressure on the government, you know, Bedfordshire Police, where he's from, and uh, you know, maybe the local councils who are not completely run by Islam, which I believe in Luton, Islam are practically running the council down there. So I'd urge Craig, if you if you want to 
check out how, how bad the situation really is in the United Kingdom, why don't you move down to Luton? You actually said that you live, you told me you lived in a um, a place which, which you don't actually see where you actually stay. Um, which I'm not, I'm not going to openly sort of discuss that, you know. If you want to tell me, that's fine. I'll come around um, and we can chat about these things. But you're saying that you actually stay in an area where there's a lot of Muslim gangs. Now, as far as I understand, Govan Hill was, was in the news recently. Um, if you actually look at the facts and figures um, about human trafficking, human rape gangs, you're talking about um, 80%, at least 80 to 90% of the crime figures being Muslim gangs, and yet there's less than, you know, 5 to 10% of the total population. Now that figure is absolutely huge, Craig, but you never actually share that accurate information, and you only use the mainstream media when you want to. But don't look to them, Craig, for actually sharing real information. And so either it's something to do, as I said, with your some kind of agenda you might have, which we'll look at what, what that agenda could be. It's obviously against Jews and Christians. It's against the Bible, which is very key for me because you slag people off who read the Bible and you've been doing this for a little while. So we're going to look at that particular agenda and, uh, you know, take off your little... Uh, atheist goggles there and you might be able to see things as they are there Craig so let's just look at what that agenda could be first and uh, we got this uh, learned, learned elders of Zion about World War 3 from Jatruth online is to be fomented fomented using the so-called controversies by the agents of the Illuminati operating under whatever new name that are now being stored up between the political Zionists which again Craig says he hates the Zionists but he's more against the Jews than the Zionists he's made that very clear in his videos he calls it a Jew world order Judai mind tricks mm -hmm. and the leaders of the Muslim world again the leaders of the Muslim world so so there's a lot of Muslims that are brought up Muslims and they they don't really care about blowing themselves up and killing other people from other religions. But again, the leaders are part of the Illuminati, you see. So again, political Zionists, some of them, most of them, probably part of some Illuminati group. And then you've got the Muslim leaders. Again, these people, the Imams, are the ones who are part of the Illuminati. You see. All right. That was about World War Two. This is about World War Three. Uh, that war is to be directed in such a manner that all of Islam and political Zionism, in other words, Israel, will destroy each other. While at the same time, the remaining nations, once more divided on this issue, will be forced to fight themselves into a state of complete exhaustion, physically mentally, spiritually and economically, right? Now, why is uh, Sip here, or Craig Houston, so against Christians and Jews here? Because this is the plan that the Illuminati are setting the Zionists against the Muslims, or the Muslims against the Zionists. So in this case, this is what he's involved with. Now let's look at the next part. Can read that yourself. This is just about information about what Albert Pike wrote in the letter to Mazzini. We shall unleash the nihilists, okay, and the atheists. We shall provoke a great social cataclysm, which, in all its horror, will show clearly to all nations the effect of absolute atheism. origins of savagery and of most bloody turmoil and so Sip is an atheist Sip is becoming like a nihilist which is someone with no real solid beliefs and yet just attacks um, especially those of the, the Bible those who believe the word of God that's what he's, that's what he's busy doing and so whether he realise it 
realises it or not, he's actually following a satanic agenda because he's so against what the Bible says, you know, the, the prophecies that speak about the Messiah. Um, you can study them with any seriousness there, Craig, and uh, instead of being like a clown, if you actually study the Bible seriously, you'll, you'll be able to see the fact that um, all these prophecies came to pass about Jesus from the Bible, which a lot of Jews don't believe, Craig. So if you're saying that the Bible is some sort of uh, satanic plan that they just follow, the Bible is not satanic, Craig. The, the learned elders of Zion are satanic, okay? They're satanic. They're, they're part of Satan's end time plan to bring in this uh, one world religion. That's what their agenda is. And they're using Zionists as pawns, Muslims as pawns, okay? And the atheists have a heavy part in the Third World War by demeaning people's faith and belief in the Word of God, Craig, which you're actually doing. So what you're actually doing is very satanic. Now you might not believe in Satan, you might not believe in the Bible, you might say that you're neutral and you're clearly not neutral, Craig. You're against Christians, you're against Jews, you're against those who read the Word of God. You've already slagged this woman off right at the start of your video for reading the Bible yeah for being a Bible believer and so you know even though it's very easy to call someone mentally retarded I think that is, is beyond this I think that he's deliberately missing out just as the mainstream media does miss out the main uh, points about the fact that 80% of the rapes are being um, done by Muslim gang, gangs in particular in the UK misses out these facts just like the mainstream media so Craig either you are actually um, watching the BBC and ITV or you're part of an agenda you're actually sharing the agenda that these mainstream media people have of actually bringing through these religions causing political conflict uh, within these beliefs and then just causing a social cataclysm through belittling those who believe in the word of God. That's very clear. That's the satanic agenda. And you're part of it there, Craig. So you can either, if you want to discuss these things again without cutting me off, Craig, I, I'd appreciate that. Um, your panel, I think that maybe there's one or two people on, on that last discussion who are quite intelligent, which uh, you didn't let them speak as far as I could hear. There was some guy from... He sounded as if he was from, uh, I'm not sure, like Yorkshire or somewhere like that, or probably further down south. And he's, like he sounded, he has a real problem with Christians, you know? A real problem with Christians, like, like yeah, he's Christians, and yeah, yeah, there's all, all other books there, you know, that are better, and, you know, it's just the Bible's just a bunch of stories. That, that, that's, that, Type of, I, I don't know who he was, but that's what he sounded like. He sounded like probably a pedophile. They'd probably jump at the chance to to join something like Islam. And the, the only thing that's probably stopping him is his hatred for God. Yeah. The only thing that's probably stopping him is his atheism, Craig, which the learned elders of Zion, as we've just read, atheism very very much part of the nihilists and the atheists are the part of the end time agenda to bring in this satanic one world government there Craig did, did you did you read it properly I know I know that you say that you're quite a, an intelligent well read person but you seem to have missed there a lot of issues there Craig maybe it's a spiritual problem like they had in Sodom and Gomorrah this is from the book of Jasher and you can see all the, the wicked things that Sodom and Gomorrah did to, to people. And that's just about what we're, we're being brought into today through the atheists who are doing wickedness against those who have faith in the one true God, their Craig. So, yeah, I would, I would go home and have a good think about uh, what you're involved with. Stop the drugs and the alcohol and start start praying to the Lord there Craig maybe you'll get some real understanding about things may the Lord bless you thank you for listening